Okay, guys, welcome back to Alice Madness Returns. We're lock onto that. Lock onto him. Uh. What? What happened? That enemy just. Okay. I don't. I don't even know where to begin with that. Well, whatever. Um. Yeah, there's a thing there. I. Ugh, what? What? Okay, I don't know why it made me look at that, or had me look at that. Anyway, before that wasp just vanished into nothingness, but was also still there at the same time, I was gonna start this episode and ask, at what point do you think there was a time where, like, in human history, there was a moment where you know, manners started to happen, and you couldn't be a slob about stuff. At what point in human history was it deemed weird and or gross to pick your nose? You know what I, you know what I'm saying here with this one? Cause like, okay, um, you know, sometimes your nose is itchy, like in there. You gotta scratch it, or you like rub it, and it's not doesn't do enough or anything like no I guess it's just wood I thought it was a... okay come on reminds me of some of the trees in Dark Souls um right but what point do you think it was made weird to pick your nose because like other animals do it too like cows pick their nose with their tongue which is Something we would think is gross, and yeah, probably the gross. The bridge will complete the path, but this substance has blocked the way. Can you help us to remove it? I believe I've got the proper tool. At the top of the mountain, you will find the entrance to the next sacred cave. You know, he sent me on objectives that were east and west, and um, I kind of don't... I kind of don't remember completing a... You know, any sort of tiered, uh, like... Oh my god. Just because you're sitting on a fucking bullshit... Just get off that platform so I can kill you! God. Um... No. What am I trying to say here? Whatever. I just... There obviously was a point where humans could pick their nose freely and nobody gave a shit. And then there came a moment where somebody said, Ew, don't pick your nose, this gross. And I'm curious to wonder, like, what the heck that moment was? When did somebody go, Yo, man, nasty shit picking your nose. And then there was that person like, What? Like, yesterday it wasn't gross. Yesterday you were just like... Oh, I'm hearing a snout. I'm hearing a snooty snout. I don't care, but you have to say about it. You know who I'm talking to. Just go snort snort. Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to be able to... I don't think I'm supposed to get to it yet, maybe. I am probably not supposed to get to it yet. Oh well, whatever. I fucking figured that shit out though. Um We are safe, our benefactor! You're free, my friends. It looked like there was a thing through there. Eh, whatever. At least I got some things. Um, right, but still, I'm just like, at what point did somebody go, yo, picking your nose is nasty. You know, just because it's one of those really dumb things that you think about sometimes. I mean, like, whatever. You probably think about something stupid sometimes. Where, like... You know, I, oh, I think about a lot of things that are weird, actually. Now that I think think about thinking about it you know like how did somebody figure out no there's just goop noises it's not a snout um 
How did somebody even figure out, like, some of the first musical instruments? You know what I mean? Like... Like, somebody was like... Well, some of them make sense, I guess, to an extent. Like, if I hit this thing, it makes a cool noise. You know, percussion, as an example. Um, other things, I don't know, it's like... Are these just gonna spawn forever, or are they actually clearing them up? Um, Hmm. Um, these look like they're spawning forever. Um, right. So now I lost my point. Um, oh yeah, and so I think about, like, yeah, how did anybody figure out the first wind instrument like what the heck you blow into a thing and it sounds cool and then you're like wow if we put holes here here and here we can make a sound even cooler you know what i mean like like what the heck who was the who was the guy who who thought of that shit or like Fucking a violin. How did anybody figure out a violin before the violin existed? They're like, yo, if we put these strings in this way on a thing and then rub a different kind of string thing across it, holy shit, check out that noise. You know, actually, I wonder. I'm actually curious. I wonder what the very first stringed instrument was. As much as I don't want to deal with all these things anymore, we have to go through this keyhole. What the heck? Okay. Come on. Don't get stuck on weird environment shit. No, I hate these camera changes. They fuck them. From your mind, Alice. Reject the painful as you would the repulsive and depraved. Forgetting is an art. Yeah. See, I don't agree with this guy. I mean, there's things that I guess I would like to forget personally, but you know. If something, if something was a bullshit in your past and is causing you grief and strife in your present, you can't just forget it. You have to, like, move on through it. You know? You gotta, you, you gotta, like, tackle it and deal with it and... figure out how it currently impacts you and what, you know, whatever, because that's just how the shit works. Whatever. I don't like that doctor. But again. Oh yeah, you're welcome. You're not gonna say anything to me, but I'm okay with that. It's fine. You can just sit there and kill them and break them free. So those are ants, right? Right? They're ants. I think that's what they are. Anyway, whatever. Yeah, you know... Wow, that was easy. Why, why even put that there? If there was just one of them. Um... Don't know why I'm making noises. I just made some noise. Don't know why I'm singing about noises. But I'm singing about the noise. Most often, freedom is so precious to some that they pay for it with their lives. Yeah, that's a thing that happens a lot in real world and in fiction. I mean, I know this. Okay. I don't know. I mean, that's a good question, though, I guess. 
Would you rather be free or alive? If you had to pick them in a fashion just like that, where you had to say, if I am... The only way to be free and have everybody be free is if I am dead. Or... I can continue to live in, I don't know, a shitty existence and then... Okay, so wait, what did that do? Mm. Shit. Yawning. Hashtag yawn. Um. Wait. I actually have no idea what that did. I mean, I know that it spun a thing around and made some sort of jump. Passable, but... What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> like, seriously, what the fuck? What the fuck? Is there... Oh, I see. There's little secret platforms. I was wondering where they would be. I wish that they would stay just a little bit longer. Because they kind of are there still when you're finishing your jump, but... There's something else here, right? There we go. Wait. Oh, oh, because that was like right underneath the snout. That's why. These ones look weirder and different than the other ones. They look like... Koran. Me. I climbed down the trellis. The tree branch makes a bridge, but it's not much of a drop. Keep our secret, Alice, or we're not sisters. Wait. So her sister. This is saying that then now it sounds like her sister is somebody who knows how to escape the house from her room? When she was grounded. Again, I still am of the mind that her sister did it. This is the vote that I'm putting forward. Is that she, Alice, our main character, our protagonist in this situation, did not burn down the house. It was her sister. But somehow she got convinced that she did it herself. And that fucks her up. As it would fuck up anybody, really. Hmm. Interesting. That's the first one that's ever done this kind of thing, where you, like, loop around. Nice, though. Doesn't make you... Come on, invisible walls. Be cooler than that. Doesn't make you have to, like... Do whatever. What did I say we need? Wait, what? Oh, that is blowing. Oh, I see. It's just like really blown out there and you can't see the... It's too white. So you can't see that it's blowing air. Um, you know, when I sat down to start this recording session, I wanted to say something about how I never plan what I'm going to say, even though that this is a planned kind of topic to talk about. Whenever I play these games or do a thing, I don't come in with like... Here's a bullet point of shit I'm going to talk about, even though something comes onto my mind and then I end up talking about it a lot. Um, but that's part of the reason why I just I just get lost in my, my train of thought goes and I get lost. And I like to observe, learn, and react. He is standing on nothing. That looked horrible. Um, there's some weird graphical bugs with this game like that. Anyway... Wow, okay, that's brutal. One hit kill. Um, nope, can't even dodge through it. Okay, okay, that's fine. This, we'll just do the same thing again, but not fuck up this time. Um, right, so I lose my train of thought because there's also moments like what we... Oh, somebody thinks they're a big shot there. Um, say because of moments like we just had where I start talking about a thing and then the game will what the hell is with see it's doing it again I will talk about a thing 
and then the game will throw something at me where I want to be quiet or react to it in a specific moment that it's actually happening. So my train of thought kind of goes all the fuck over the place. And you know, whatever, I don't know what to do about that. It is what it is, I guess. That's just why, like, I guess it's an excuse, really, you know? That's why everything is so fucked up and disjointed when I'm doing this. What was the thing? Oh, this is gonna be a side-scroller thing, right? That's my, that was my guess. There's no time to waste. There's no time at all. Oh, fuck. Maybe there'll be a, a cut here. Um... Oh my god. You know what? Let's just get the fuck out of there. Oh, you know what I could do? Oh! This is just a time thing? Shit. Camellas don't dawdle. You've already missed the train! Oh, so I guess I was just survive for the time. That's <laughs> kind of what it said. If I would have known that, I probably just would have fucking run the whole way through. Why even fight them? What if it's the Hatter's there, but he's just not reacting to anything? Um, but yeah, again, that's an example of where my train of thought gets... Save yourself! Wake up, Lizzie! Lizzie! Open the door! The key, Lizzie! Unlock the door! You'll burn! Okay, so did they find her body? Because that would be a point of interest here, I guess. Like, maybe her sister did it and then ran away because she knew how to run away. Um. Whoa. I didn't expect it on the other side, too. Um. Right. Anyway. That's just it. It's kind of an excuse for why my train of thought is all over the fucking place. Is because I'm trying to react to the game. Trying to give the game time for itself to talk. And also, I bring up a conversation that lasts significantly longer than need be in... Whoa, shit. I don't want to be on this platform and fight anybody. Whoa! I died. I did not realize how low on health I was. No, I don't want to continue. I just want to continue. Ugh. Okay. Oops. I should get more health back. Um. Right. So I was saying that I lose my train of thought a lot. Whatever. Blah blah blah. That's not the really thing that I wanted to talk about. Just. Oh yeah. You know, I'm reacting to it as it's happening. This game, and that's just what I would like to do in general. And I wanna. You know, if you're curious about the story, like I'm curious about the story, I generally shut up in the cutscenes or any time a character is talking, even though it says at the bottom of the screen. Um. But, unrelated to story and everything else like that, there's been a lot of little graphical fuck-ups lately in this thing. And I don't think I... Like I said, I don't think I did anything. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Oh, me, oh, my, oh. Whee! I don't know. You know, that's a thing in games. And then I, I was just... Blah, blah, about what I just did. Is that I jump... That's not what I intended to do, but it worked. Um, you know, 
I want to go faster across an area, so I'll just jump. I don't know if that makes anything go faster. Like, in almost any game. This game included, but like... I don't know. I feel like I'm covering more ground when I'm jumping. Oh, yo. A yawn. God, I guess I've been playing this for a little while. Alright, bro. Be cool. Be cool. Nice. That's real. Yeah, that reminds me. I haven't watched Adventure Time in a while. Uh, I wonder... I can't remember if they're doing more episodes right now. I might be behind. Shit. Well, at least I know I'm not behind on Steven Universe, because we have to wait until, like, June or July or something like that until it comes back, which sucks. But at the same time, it's okay, because it's coming back. You know what I mean? It's not good, but it's okay. Whee! Nothing else I can do in this room, right? Just like, like, oh, maybe, nope. This is just lazy there. There's an invisible wall. Why not just keep the thing going or put a fence from there to there? You know? I kind of don't remember it that well. I feel like... As the chapters the go on, without true call to arms, abused and murdered their Pacific victims, whom they hated for being different. The invaders corrupted the vivid world. The assaulted could not comprehend the masses' brutality. Still, they stayed on, trying to placate their oppressors and recover their past. The cruel interlopers attacked at intervals instead of killing them all at once. The wretched survivors suffered in perpetual fear. Is there a worse? Fate. Oh. Well, that's them. <laughs> yeah, I just walked right into that. As I say, that's an interesting tone that I wasn't expecting this to take right there. Of, I'm assuming that's just like mostly. I mean, it was vague, but it's probably a conversation about like shitty western imperialism in and its specific relation to Asia <gasps> oh that was real close wait I feel like oh there wasn't a secret there I just, just wasted everybody's time especially especially mine did you ever just mispronounce words for fun I just did but I mean, like, you know. Also, see, this is a fine enough section, but, like, uh, there's a little bit of problems at where Alice walks and what she... Oh. Hmm. Although, no, this doesn't make any sense, because they're talking, like, the ant who we've been helping are dealing with samurai and... Daimyo? Daimyo? Daimyos? Which, like I said, I'm pretty sure are Japanese. So it's talking about Japanese attacks on China, maybe? Which, again, I don't know that much about the history of it all, so... I mean, I do know that there was lots of fighting in that area between... Well, pretty much anybody that had enough power. So, yeah, China and Japan fought, and Korea got in there, too. And I don't... You know, this is a kind of a thing, too. I guess I'm not a history major, so I don't know everything about history. I'm a geology major, if you must know. And I should be spending more time working on my geology stuff. Um, oh, whoops, I wasted all my jumps collecting teeth. Um, but yeah, like, the little bit of history that we ended up taking in, like, you know, high school didn't exactly cover everything in the world. 
covered America mostly, and eh, it probably didn't do that great of a job of that e anyway, you know what I mean? Especially, like, now you poke around on the internet, and you can find out that a lot of history you learned has some bullshit in it, or is just blatantly untrue, and it's just like, god damn. And then, oh, I mean, obviously you always have to question what everybody thinks about things, because what's their agenda in telling you this history stuff, that there were this history stuff that's wrong, and this history stuff that's right, or whatever. But I tend to believe a lot of those people, because they're not selling a book, or pushing a, I don't know, to be reelected as, you know, Oh shit, this went on for a long time. We're gonna finish this area and then I'll call it quits there. Um, but the point that I'm trying to make with that whole thing is that... Wait, where is he shooting? Oh, he shoots into that house. Fuck! <laughs> um, what am I trying to say? Oh yeah, that like whatever school history is not necessarily very good oh are you kidding me why didn't I make that jump because it's like I don't know as an example in new textbooks and they talk fuck whatever what's that called the the board it's not the board of education or is it whoever is like approving textbooks for high schools and shit how did I fucking not make that oh wait am I going What? Oh. Um. Eh, I got to skip a whole bunch of it by making a weird jump. Um. <clears throat> but yeah, whatever. The people that get to choose the. Fuck. In. Shit. Anyway, the people that get to choose books get to do things, and recently one of the things that they've been working on and doing is basically saying, removing the language and the terminology of slaves and slavery from history books, which is super bullshit and bad for everyone. Because America had slaves and was part of slavery. And it's not, like, it's not a good thing. It's not something to look back on with anything but, I guess, shame and disgust and the thing. But to erase it is a huge problem. You know? Like, people need to know that it happened. So you can be like, this happened, it was fucked. But we want to move on to not being assholes anymore. Anyway. Wow. What the fuck is wrong with me today? I'm talking about all this crazy bullshit. And we're just playing this game. Well, I hope none of this stuff has been too heavy. I will see you guys in the next part. Where you get to hear me ramble on about some sort of random topic again, probably. Whatever. See you guys then.